I'm here at Mercedes-Benz's Emma Dingen test facility, and I'm here to try out Drive Pilot, the automaker's level three autonomous driving system. Now, all the cars that are on the road right now, those are level two or two plus or whatever you want to call them. You still have to pay attention. You still keep your hands on the wheel. With this vehicle, I don't. I don't have to pay attention. I don't have to keep my hands on the wheel, and I'm going to try it out right now. In order to make this vehicle capable of level three driving, Mercedes had to add some additional sensors. The first is a LiDAR. Now, it looks like there's two, there's actually only one. Now, this is a self-cleaning LiDAR. It uses the same washer fluid that you, well, use for your windshield wipers. If it detects bugs, dust, whatever, this little thing pops out and it sprays it and gets rid of all the muck and gunk. There's also a rain sensor here, which you kind of expect that, but also, down here in the wheel well behind the wheel of the driver's side tire. This system will not work in the rain. Mercedes is very upfront about that. It will not work in the rain. It's not made for rain. It's made for clear, regular days. It also has a rear camera system. So if there are emergency vehicles or other things going on behind you, it can detect those. And this little bulge right here is high definition GPS system. It's accurate within a few centimeters. And what's really intriguing is that it accounts for continental drift. The drift of the continents, you know, Europe, America, Australia, you know, everything's sort of moving a little bit. This accounts for that. So while you might not notice that the lanes on the road where you live have moved, I don't know, two centimeters in the last three or four years, this system notices that and it accounts for it so that the settings that it has with the day you bought it will adjust for the drift of the continents, which is sort of insane. To engage the system, first you turn on the regular level two driver's assistance feature. Then it'll tell you that, you know what? You can put it in level three. You hit this little button right here, boop, with the little A on it, and it just does it. You have indicators you have lights here on the steering wheel you have a little light here in the steering column and of course in the dash cluster you also have the indicator that the car is driving itself and here at the testing facility they set up this entire scenario we have multiple vehicles we have a we have a big rig it's noticing that there are vehicles disabled vehicles on the road it just goes around them right now i could watch a movie i could play a video game I could text my wife right now. I didn't look at the road for a few seconds, which again, slightly terrifying for someone whose job it is to drive cars and always look at the road. There is one caveat. If I am in this system, I can't like hold a newspaper up like this. I can't block the in-vehicle uh, monitoring system. So I can do all these things. I don't have to look at it, but it still needs to know that I'm still here. <laughs> Now I've said this again and again in Mercedes vehicles with their level two system is that Mercedes, the acceleration and the braking with cut-ins or with people getting out of the way, it's very smooth compared to a lot of other automakers. It's probably one of my favorite systems out on the market right now. And they've transferred that over to this level three system. So when people pull out of the way, it doesn't just take off, you know, slam the, the gas down or the accelerator, in this case, we're in the EQS, it doesn't slam the accelerator down and just take off until it gets right up on another vehicle, sometimes terrifying the driver. Instead, it does a very gradual speed up, and as you come to a vehicle, it, a gradual braking. We're, we're here, we're on a testing facility, you know, it's July, they still have a few more months before this launches, um, but I will be uh, very excited to try this out on the open road, it is uh, geofenced to highways and traffic situations with speeds below 60 kilometers an hour. So it'll do this up to 60 kilometers an hour. Once you hit the 61, then you're in charge. You have to go back to um, actually driving. Uh, oh, we have an emergency vehicle coming up. It's the police. Now I have to take over because there's an emergency vehicle. Push the little button to take over. We'll let the uh, police go by. All right. 
will turn on the ADAS system and hit resume. It's giving me an A, it's ready to go. I hit this little button right here. Boom, and I'm once again off the hook as a driver. Uh, remain ready to take control, take control of the vehicle when prompted. So you still have to be ready to take control, but while it's in the system, you're not driving. Now, if you're concerned about the speed of the 60 kilometers per hour uh, limit, I'm gonna say this, a lot of us get stuck in traffic a lot of the time. And a lot of times you're not doing, 60 kilometers is about, let's say about 40 miles an hour. If you're stuck in traffic doing less than 40 miles an hour and you have emails to reply to, or you have to do a, a little bit of research for something, you, you can do that in the car while it's doing this on the freeway that you drive every day anyway. Mercedes-Benz Drive Pilot program will be available on vehicles in Germany by the end of this year. The first vehicle will be the S-Class. The second will be the EQS. What's that mean for America? Well, we'll be getting this later on. The United States is a huge market and Mercedes really wants to bring this system to the United States. For more automotive coverage from testing facilities in the middle of Germany while it's about to rain, be sure to subscribe to Engadget.